I think the way that we approached heaven in this is unlike most films that has been able to touch it, both visually, sonically. We went very cosmic instead of clouds and cherubs. Steve also had a very big voice in that. Our movie is going into places people are experiencing that we have nothing to relate to here on Earth. How do you convey that you know, visually? I was really drawn to images of outer space, looking at nebula, the far reaches of space, the colors and the textures and the light. It's just was really inspiring. And I think that ended up playing a big part in sort of how we're tackling the visual effects and bringing us to these otherworldly places. It's cool to be able to work on projects that are hopeful. We had a fun challenge with visual effects. We had a small visual effects team. We had north of 200 shots of visual effects to complete. It was a very ambitious shot list. We've got incredible VFX people. And this team just did an exceptional job. We have a team out in Paris, France, Thomas Vance, an amazing artist to kind of visualize, you know, what could heaven look like? And we're talking about kind of towards the beginning of the film, what people experience. For making this uh, meeting God of Light. Uh, to give a rough idea of what kind, what kind of direction we will go for. I mean, Steve, they have a good idea of what, what it takes. We were working on these otherworldly elements. He has a really interesting way of approaching his work, so he ended up uh, working with fluids and macro photography and then layering in After Effects elements that would be happening in the real world, like electrical, moving through uh, waves and chemical reactions, and then playing with light. What he creates, I think, just works so well with this film. And then we've got Larry Chappell, our VFX supervisor, who's just killing it. He's gonna be doing a lot of the compositing and effects. He's gonna be taking this film to a different level. Larry created these photoreal sequences of a plane for Dale. Now the plane that we shot on was a Cessna. The actual plane that Dale flew was a Piper Navajo Chieftain. So we did some modifications to the plane's model. Some of the instruments that were inside the cockpit of the plane that we shot practically on had had to be adjusted in post to bring it back to what a plane would look like in 1969. Now this is an actual flight path that Dale had taken off from Bob Hope Airport. It was near the end of a runway, and this is all real landmarks here, so Larry and his team had fully recreated this, including the monument where Dale crashed into. In Mexico, we crashed one car. The challenge was we had to take this crushed car and put it onto a bridge in post that would look like it was in Texas. Larry Chapel wasn't able to be with us here to supervise effects. We were FaceTiming him in, getting very detailed notes on things to record like focal lengths and distance to subject, lens characteristics, and shooting charts, taking measurements, and doing 3D scans of cars. So I'm using the time of flight sensor on the iPad uh, with an app called Polyscan. Create a 3D model that our VFX artist is going to reference when he creates uh, this scene digitally to fill in our chroma key areas and we blue screen that and shot that uh, as a plate to fill onto the bridge. Now this bridge was recreated based off of an actual bridge that exists in Huntsville, Texas. We were able to capture a lot of these things on set, placing trackers. And we had accident photos of Dawn's crash to base these off of. Now the bridge had to be recreated. It's a truss bridge. We went with a different aesthetic for what it looked like in 1989. There are things that we just will not be able to achieve in the camera. We can't capture a being of light. To have someone like Larry involved in that process from the beginning to tell us how to make that happen, it's invaluable. Jason Stroll did a fantastic job with a lot of the motion graphics in our film. He was really good at taking references and building something out that gave it life and made it more interesting, build the production value, but also helped to distill a lot of information down to something really simple. One of my highlights personally was making this title sequence. I was pulling inspiration from interior of cathedrals, Renaissance era paintings of the afterlife, dome structures. The title sequence essentially sets up the tone of the entire film. The visuals is to kind of tie in this ancient connection to the afterlife expressions of heaven and hell and in multiple cultures around the world. It's high aesthetic. 
It's very cinematic. It's been really cool to kind of collaborate on an international level with this project. I think everyone touching it right now is going to be really proud of the way it turns out.